Hello, I'm Jim Sturdivant. I'm the developer of the Your Teacher Four Score app, and I wanted to give you some information about the app and how to use it. I wanted to direct your attention to this word from ancient Greece, eudaimonia, which is probably unfamiliar to many of you. It is this concept of contentment, of, of feeling like you're in the right place, doing the right thing. Uh, and this is a wonderful thing for a teacher. If you love your students, if you're glad you became a teacher, if you like who you work with, if you have pride in your school, these are these are great places to be. And if this app can help you achieve that, then I'm going to feel really good. Creating a magnificent classroom culture is not just a self-serving exercise. When students experience this, it is one of the most powerful tools for academic growth. Uh, this is a slide that I have shown students for, for years talking about the powerful aspects of strong student-teacher relationships. So this, creating this, creating this wonderful culture is one of the best things you can do for your students. This app is powered by the teacher journaling, and this can be done on a daily basis or can be done every other day, but it's the concept of reflecting on your last 24 hours. And that journal, which you can compose on a Word doc and then copy and paste into the app, is what's going to power this assessment. The app then takes your journal entry and submits it to artificial intelligence, in this case, OpenAI's ChatGPT. And then the app gives back to you an assessment. And this assessment is going to be a score along with suggestions for improvement. So let's talk about the four virtues that the app is going to assess you on. And these four virtues evolved with Stoicism in ancient Greece. But you're going to find that these virtues are universal. And the first one is courage. And it takes courage to be a young teacher. It takes courage to be a veteran teacher. It takes courage to step in front of students each day and, and face challenging situations with, with kids and colleagues and parents and administrators. So uh, courage is a key part of this. The next virtue is wisdom. And we're not talking about intelligence. I mean, obviously, intelligence is part of it. But the key part of wisdom from a Stoic perspective is the ability to decipher what is and what is not in your control. And this is crucial because most educators feel overwhelmed. They feel like the weight of the world is upon them. And if you can make this uh, decision about what is and what isn't in, in your control, you're going to thrive. This is a crucial one. Justice is the concept of, that can be embodied by the Christian concept of the golden rule, the Hindu concept of karma, the Confucius concept of the silver rule, the idea that you treat people as you desire to be treated, you have a fair, equitable classroom. That's certainly the goal of, of every teacher. And it doesn't mean just in terms of classroom policies. It means in the way you treat others. And finally, temperance. We all need impulse control. <laughs> and teachers certainly need impulse control because teaching can be an incredibly frustrating exercise. And if you allow your impulses to run wild, you will say things and you will do things that you regret. So temperance is important. And here are two documents that are worth investigation and there's a link to both on the landing page the first is the your teacher four score rubric and this is what powers the uh, assessment so it's always wise to check out the rubric before you get assessed uh, there's a link right on the landing page that you can do that and on your maiden voyage a lot of times it's tough to come up with a journal entry so i created one for you actually ChatGPT created one for you and this is just a typical student teacher and her 24 hours and her joys and frustrations. So there's a link to that so you can use this 
as your maiden uh, voyage and this will help you see how the app functions. And here are some final tips on, on how to use this app. I would create my journal on a separate Word doc. I don't like trying to compose something in a submission field and the submission field on this app is no bigger than any submission field. So I would go ahead and use a Google Doc or a Word Doc and compose my uh, journal there each day. And then I'd have a you know, running tally of all my journal entries. And then I would highlight the day's journal entry and copy and paste that right into that submission field. That to me just makes things a lot easier. Uh, the other thing I would say is you're going to get lots of information back from the AI app and you might want to investigate ideas further. That's where there's a link on the landing page right to ChatGPT and you could say, how could I accomplish this? How could I explore this? How could I develop my capacities in this region? Go ahead and interact further with uh, AI to lay out a game plan. Uh, something else you can do is you can keep track of your performance. I mean, this is data. This is quantifiable data on your growth as an educator. You could open up a spreadsheet and each day put in your scores and then you can track them over time. And along those lines, my last piece of advice is don't be disappointed if you don't get a five. I rarely get fives. Fives are hard to get and you want it that way because you want to be working towards improvement. So if you get no fives or very few fives, that is a blessing, not a curse. Hey, good luck journaling. It's a wonderful activity for personal growth. And I'm hoping this app helps. There's my contact information. Good luck.